Hi, it's Amanda the Nail Polish Hound and welcome to this video of the top 19 nail polishes of 2019. This is a collaboration video but also the topic for Topic Tuesday this week. And as usual, I have made my picks from nail polishes that I have worn this year. Um, they're not necessarily polishes that were released this year, nor ones that were new to my collection this year, but I think they were all worn for the first time this year. So without further ado, let's get on with my favourites. They are listed in the order that I wore them. There's absolutely no way that I could put these into um, order of favourites. It was hard enough just to pick 19. So my first choice is this beautiful berry coloured holographic by Wicked Polish. It has a lovely scattered holographic running throughout it. And I wore this in a manicure that I did as part of a birthday collaboration for Natasha, Natasha Downsey on Instagram. My second choice is this beautiful dusky pale green Bon Voyage by Essie. It's now my favourite green of this type. Um, it has a lovely formula, actually goes on really easily for a pale green. I really enjoyed wearing this one, love to wear this sort of colour in the spring. My next choice is Throne of Lies by Prism Polish and this is a unicorn pea polish so it has that pigment within it, the rare and coveted unicorn pea pigment um, that gives it that shift and in this swatch it is worn over a troper also by prism polish because these unicorn pea polishes are designed as toppers um, they don't really build up very well on their own next we have living in the l moment by china glaze um, and this beautiful red filled with holographic glitters was part of the you do hue collection released this year i only bought two from that collection because i was supposed to be on the no buy um, but i couldn't resist this one and the pink holographic polish and despite being a bit of a jelly finish i believe this one built up okay in two coats my next choice is the first of a few Ardis Nails polishes. Um, I did struggle narrowing it down, not just having a top 19 from Ardis Nails. Um, this particular one is called I Love You Ken, and I really love the pale blue, sort of like a duck egg blue, and I love the contrast of the copper flakes in it. My next choice is Holographic Flare from Barry M. Um, and this beautiful pale green has got a very subtle holographic shimmer running all the way through it. The holographic only really shows up when you go out in the sunlight um, and inside it's quite a muted polish, but I really like that. Next we have this Catrice polish, All's Well That Ends Pink, that was given to me by George of George's Nails. Um, I really love this on the nail, and a beautiful finish to it. Um, I wish it was a bit easier to get Catrice nail polishes in the UK. Next we have this unusual grey polish by Cuccio and it's called Explorateur. Um, I love grey nail polishes and this one has got a darker grey speckle in it that just makes it a little bit more unusual. Next we have the first of three polishes by Cirque Colours to make my top 19. This one is the first one that I ever bought from this brand. It's called Isola and I just love the gold flakies in it against that mid-toned purple. Next we have another Cuccio polish. This one is called Jamaica Me Crazy. Um, it's a periwinkle blue, just a plain cream, but absolutely gorgeous on the nails. Really love this one. My next choice is another Arda's Nails Polish and another grey. This one is called Kirsty. Um, I love wearing my grey nail polishes. This one um, was actually part of my favourite nail art um, from 2019. Dark grey with a holographic topper over the top of it is absolutely gorgeous. 
My next choice is the only magnetic nail polish that made it into my top 19 this year. That's a bit of a shocker. Um, this one is by Mizura and it's called New Year Ball. Next we have another Barry M and this one is from the matte nail polish range, it's called Vanilla and this one is a beautiful palette cleanser and really nice to wear for work. Next we have another of the Cirque Colours nail polishes, this one is called Gumdrop and you can see I've had a bit of a thing for flakies this year and this one with the pale pink and gold flakies in it was just gorgeous. And another one from the same range is Cool Blast, um, those same pink and gold flakies in it against this lovely periwinkle blue colour. Next we have another Arda's Nails polish and this is one of the polishes um, from those charity polishes that were released this year to help raise money for Breast Cancer Awareness Ireland um, and it was a very very difficult choice between this one and the orange one Pumpkin Juice. I eventually went for this one because I don't wear oranges very often so I find it difficult to put them into a favourites um, but they are both beautiful. Again you can see we've got a polish here with flakies in it um, multicolored flakies but with the pink against the green very very pretty indeed then we have another palette cleanser color polish this one is Eastern by Zoya and I really love this pinkish nude color it looked lovely on my skin I wore it with a scattered holographic top coat and uh, wore it for four days which is quite unusual for me in this swatch picture you can see it on its own in two coats with a top coat. My next choice uh, was a bit of a surprise to me, it is Rouge Louboutin by Christian Louboutin and I honestly only bought this polish for the bottle. People have said that it's not actually a great nail polish but I actually really liked it. It went on really easily, uh, took two coats, it's a, a bit of a jelly finish to it but it was opaque in two coats um, and I really enjoyed wearing this polish. The colour absolutely stunning. I wore it over Christmas and again I wore this manicure for four days without taking it off. And finally, a last minute entry, the nail polish that I am wearing as we speak um, is Arda's Nails, Stephanie is a weirdo. A lovely purple polish with those glitters in it, holographic and blue, pale blue, um, just beautiful. It's packed with those glitters and it looks stunning on the nails. So I hope you've enjoyed my top 19 of 2019, it definitely wasn't an easy choice. Um, I hope you've had a good year and I wish you all the best for 2020.